Hey, let's set up and cut a metric thread on the Monarch inch metric leg. Okay, first thing we do is shift the uh, gearbox in. So we'll get over here and do that. And I think I can get you uh, over there pretty good. Okay. Yeah, we got a few levers to shift here. I got hooked up on that old mill. Okay. Now I'm going to get you right here. Let's see how that does. Yeah, I think you can see everything pretty good. Okay. Now I'm going to get over here. Now the first lever you shift is uh, this one here, and uh, you shift it from um, from feeds to threads. Now on the on the regular inch uh, imperial gearbox, there's only one position. That'd be that one there, but this one here has another position. Let's see if I can get it in there. I did. Clunk it back and forth. <laughs> Make sure it's in. Okay, the next one is the feeds, feed thread selector. So that'll go into um, right hand millimeter. Okay. Now the next lever here is feeds threads. So we'll put it in threads. Solidly in threads. Lead screws turning. Okay. Now we have uh, threads, inch, and thread, uh, inch feeds. So we move this lever over to pitch and millimeter. There we go. Now we decide on a thread to cut. And I think an okay thread would be uh, 1.25 millimeter. That's a uh, spark plug pitch. So it'd be an eight here. It's already an eight and E. Okay, we're in E and uh, B range. So we're in the B range. Okay, so we're into uh, uh, metric mode. Now, to go to uh, inch threads, you just flip this lever, that lever, that lever. Then you'll have to change directions up here. So, okay, we're there. Now, the next thing we'll look at here is the uh, um, lead screw reverse. This situation here has uh, this movable dog. I think I got that locked up. Let's see where we are with that. Okay, I'm gonna unlock that. And that's movable, okay. So I'm going to get back up here and we'll start the machine up. And uh, first thing you do is push control on. There we go. Now up we go um, onto uh, a higher camera mount. Try to get you over here where you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Getting closer. I got a boom here. I can get it loose. <laughs> okay. It gets um, it gets sticky when it gets oil on it. I found it. Everything gets oil on it. You know how it goes. Okay, now I'm going to try to get it so you can see what I'm doing pretty good. Okay. Well, let's see. I'm going to put it in back here. I don't want to cut a thread too fast. So let's get it going here. There we go. Nice and smooth. Now let's have a thread stop. All right. Right there. So what I'm going to do 
<laughs> Whoop. I clicked that off because I didn't move the dog back far enough. Hold on. Here we go. I moved the dog back. I kicked the spindle off. There we go. So I'm going to bring the tool over and I'm going to bring it right to that mark. About three sixteenths away from the chuck jaws. Looks pretty good to me. I'll put a little I'll put a little notch there. Just a little bit of one. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just ahead of that black line. Okay. Now I'm gonna back I'm gonna back this away. No, nope. I forgot one thing. Right there looks good. Okay, right here, I got an old travel dial. So I'm gonna set that on zero, set it on zero here. So that's right where we want the tool to be, okay? Okay. Look back here. Back that tool off. Take the tool off. Okay. Now, let's see how much time we got here. You know, my my system doesn't allow long videos, so it'll take a couple maybe to do this. Okay. You can back this uh, cross light way out. Let's bring it back here. I think you see the travel dial. Yeah. We'll bring it back here and put the travel belt back on zero. Okay. Now I'm gonna get get you back down here and show you how how I do this. Try to bear with me. Okay. Back down here, we loosen this up uh, and retract it. You see the forks there? There's a fork under here. It's hard to see. You might not be able to see that, but there's a fork like this. So I'm going to bring it back all the way. Then I'm going to slide this dog. Okay, see that? And I'm it's just touching the tip of the fork. So I'm going to lock it. Now watch this. See, it shut the spindle off. Now I lock it here. Okay. Looking pretty good so far. Okay, so that's basically set. And uh, we'll test that. Put that over here. And let's see. Everything looks pretty good. So let's crank this. Uh, let's crank this carriage back. And uh, get it going. And we want to get it going the speed we want to cut the thread at. So let's speed it up a little bit. Let's give it at least a hundred. I think that's okay. Okay, what we're gonna do now, I got the, everything backed off, no tool in it. So, I'm gonna engage it on number two. No, number one. I had the wrong handle. Number one. Okay, it's going to contact that dog. <laughs> Here's the old travel dial. Let's see where it stops.
It stopped within 20 thousandths of where I set it. Now I can back that up 20 thousandths and uh, have it so it hits on zero. You don't go through that again and just back it up 20 thousandths. But 20 thousandths is good enough from stopping. So we'll set everything on zero there. And we can look over here, put the tool in. Crank it forward. Okay. Try not to shake too much. Okay, I'm going to have to uh, cut this off in a few seconds, but I'll run the I'll run the tool back. Okay, we'll call it good there. I'll load this video and we'll pick up from here. Cut the metric thread.